Yo, what's up guys? Hey man, welcome back to the channel. Yo, this is your first time clicking on here. Y'all know what to do, man. Go ahead and subscribe, boy, because you're going to be back. Especially, man, if you're if you're somebody that's trying to get into the radiology de um, department or career or nursing or anything in the medical field, man, I got you. I'm here to help you make the best decision for you, not just for you right now, but for you in the future. I don't. I would hate for you to get into a career, man, that you feel like, oh man, I didn't have enough research, or I didn't think it was gonna be this way, or you know, whatever. You just know that you came to, you found the right channel, look through my videos, trust me guys, look through my videos, I give you free information. You don't even have to pay on it yet. One day, one day I'm like, you know what, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a course, boom, 599, tell you everything you need to do, you know, to get into the right career, you know, I got you, you know what I'm saying? Maybe, hey, that might be something in the future, man, but for now, it's free, so take advantage. Um, and you know, everything I do, man, I do from my heart. I do it genuinely, man, genuinely, because I do want you guys to make a good decision, man. And um, that's why I'm here. And for my day ones, y'all already know, man, how much love I got for you guys. Um, it's awesome, man. Since I started my channel, I can, I don't even know how many people have reached out to me on Instagram, on TikTok, even on here. And we honestly became kind of like friends, you know what I'm saying? On Instagram and be like, hey, Juan or you know Juan motivates they come my name's Juan of course so they're like hey man thank you so much for 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 the videos you helped me become a, a become a tech and go for you know X-ray or you helped me not want to go into X-ray because I didn't you know enjoy I, the research I did wasn't for me so I decided to go for nursing because of whatever choice it's it's amazing what kind of friends and the people you meet on here just by being genuine just by giving real information and just being. And just being truthful, man, and just and just giving information from your heart. I have, um, if you looked at my comments, man, I got so many people that go on there and be like, hey, Juan, thank you, you're awesome for giving this information. I got, I got, you know, people that come on Instagram and be like, hey, man, you know, thank you for everything, man, or hey, I need some help. You know, I don't know if I should go to a private school. I don't know if I should go to a state college. I don't know if I should stay close to home. I don't, you, so there's so many questions that I get thrown at that I sit there and I help you guys. And and I hope you again from my heart, man, because I truly enjoy seeing people succeed. I truly enjoy seeing people reach their goals, man. I, I get comments here all the time, but like, hey, one, I got accepted to the program. I'm ready. Thank you so much for your videos. I'm gonna keep watching you because you help me out, man. And and that to me, man, honestly, man, God knows the, the truth, man, that that makes me feel good, man. It makes me feel good because it feels like I'm making a difference in the world. Um, just by giving you free knowledge and free information, man. So again, guys, thanks so much. I'm very, very grateful for every, every single, each and every one of you out there that sit there and watch my channel, man, from my heart. Thank you, man. So today I want to give you three pros and three cons on becoming CT tech or when you're into CT. I recently got back into CT, which I'm super excited about. Um, CT is one of those things that I've always was scared of because it is, it is, it, it was scary. You know, I got CT certified. I'm CT certified, X-ray certified, X-ray, can't even talk, bro. I'm RT certified, CT certified, bachelor's in management. And for the last two or three years, I haven't used my CT license. I was always nervous because the first experience I had with CT um, it wasn't good, you know, it wasn't good. I was always nervous about it. What if I, you know, inject wrong? What if I get it? Um, uh, what if it becomes, you know, infiltrates and there's a big old ball in her hand? I was really nervous about CT and I'm not gonna lie, you know, I was nervous. So I just stuck to x-ray because x-ray was, it was a little easier, you know, and it was like one of those things that I was like, you know what, it's easy. Just take a picture and you're done, you know? But I'm super glad that I got back into CT. I literally just got a job uh, probably like two months ago in CT only. And I am, I'm not going to lie to you, man. I, I, I was missing out. I was missing out on CT and I'm going to tell you why. Okay. So first I'm going to go with the, I'm going to go with the cons. Let's go with the cons first, right? Because everybody wants to know what's bad about it and what's good. So three cons. One is in a way it's a con, in a way it's not. So the con is that you don't have to go anywhere. Everything is brought to you. You know, everything is brought to you. And the reason that to me that's a con sometimes because you know, not you know, but me personally, man, I'm a people person, as you can tell. I like to talk, I like to say hello to everybody. 
So when I'm just in a cubicle all day, I kind of like, I have to go take a walk. You know what I'm saying? I have to be like, okay, look, I've been doing a CAT scan for now. Let me go take a walk, you know, go get some water, come back. That's what you meant. That, that's what you lose when you become a CT tech. Because when you become x-ray, you have portables on different floors. So you have four or five portables. You know, you know what, man? It's been a busy day here in the ER. Let me take these portables. Let me go, you know, mentally distress. It sounds weird, right? But you mentally distress when you go do portables because you take the portable machine, you go to the elevator, you go up, you go to the room's floor. Hey, how you doing? My name is so-and-so. I'm going to do an x-ray. You do it. Then you're by yourself and you're walking. And that, to me... It's therapeutic because you because you get away from the hostile environment for a second and you go do portables and you're chilling in your zone, you know. So what? So when you're in your cubicle for for a while, that can be a little con, you know what I mean? It's not bad, but it can be a little con, right? So con number two is that I have to learn how to do procedures and biopsies. Now the reason I say that's a con is because of the fact that they can be a little intense. Sometimes the radiologist can be a little bit, you know, hostile and mean because it's 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 a delicate process. You know, you, 90% of the time when you're doing the biopsy, you're doing it because either the patient has cancer or they're looking to see if it's cancerous or not. So it's already intense. It's already semi-emotional for you and the patient, you know, so it's it's a little hard, you know. So biopsies and procedures can be a little intimidating, a little, a little con, you know, because this is not, you know, fun, right? So that can be a little con. And the third con is, um, again, the third con is infiltrating a patient's IV. You know, that can be a con because that's scary. Because when you do a, a CAT scan, say you do a general CAT scan, right? Like, okay, the doctor wants an abdomen and pelvis with, it, with IV. So when it says with IV, you can inject, you can inject the contrast from the machine at 2.0. 2.0 um, milliliters a second is not fast. It's basically like, like fast that's it i don't know how to explain it but it's not that fast right so the odds of you blowing a a, a vein or blowing a line is semi super super slim but when a doctor orders the cta those are harder you know cta is you know they're looking at the vessels and um you have to inject fast because they have to highlight so basically you have to inject the contrast at like 4.4.0 or 5 point you know milliliter a second that's and that millisecond, that's fast, you know, and sometimes you could blow the line. That's when it becomes scary, you know what I'm saying? And not only that, when you inject contrast, you have to find the perfect ROI. So basically, the region of interest is when the contrast hits it, it's going to highlight and it's going to shoot. So if you miss that, if you miss that bolus, then you have to re-inject. You have to tell the patient, oh, I'm sorry, you know, I had to re-inject, blah, blah. So that can kind of be a con when you miss it, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of be like, makes you feel like a little crunchy. You're like, oh, I messed up, you know? Um, and again, at the end of the day, man, we're all human. We're not going to do everything perfect at every single time. Some patients are a little harder than others, especially when you're doing CTAs of the chest. Some heart function is different from other, you know, patients. So it's not going to, you know, go when you want it to go. Um, so that's things you'll learn on the job. But those are the cons of being a CT tech, in my opinion, right? Now, the three pros this is my pro, right? Because I'm in it now, so I kind of see, because I was from X-ray to CT, so I see the difference. So the first pro is patients come to you. Yes, I know it said as a con in the beginning because you're like, man, you know, you always have to go get your, you know, you take your mental break on, on portables, right? But it's awesome to the point that you don't have to go anywhere and, and, they, and they bring the patients to you. So all I had to do is sit there and scan. Now, I do like doing portables, x-rays, because like I said, I do get the de-stress and sometimes it's a good thing to do. But I'm gonna be 100 with you guys. I'm gonna keep it 100. I am scared of getting stuck in an elevator. Oh, that's probably one of my worst fears, bro, for real. And if you work in a hospital, man, you already know that getting stuck in an elevator is not fun. Not fun at all. And uh, that's what scared me the most, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. So I love portables, but it's a love-hate relationship because I I always had the thought like, man, what if I get stuck? I'm by myself. My phone don't work in here. Like, what am I do? So yes, that always crosses my mind. I ain't gonna lie. So when I sit, so when I think about it, and I'm in CT and I'm just waiting for a patient to get there. I'm like, man, I don't have to go nowhere. I don't have to worry about getting stuck. I'm good. I'm chill. That's something that you get to look forward to when you become a CT tech, man. For real, they come to you. The second pro is um, since I work during the day, 
I have a lot of help, which I'm very grateful for. So when you work during the day, you usually have three to four texts sometimes. Um, so it's cool because one person sitting back, getting the machine ready to, to inject the contrast, to, to do the scan. The other tech is out there loading the contrast, um, getting the patient on the, on the table for you. So whenever they close the door, boom, you're ready to scan. You know what I'm saying? So you kind of, and then you rotate, you know, because everybody just don't want to be, you know, doing the contrast and, you know, doing the patient. Sometimes they want to scan too. So we rotate every other patient, every five patients, we rotate, you know, and we do our fair share. And um, that's the cool thing about it, man. There's so much more help. So even if you're stuck and you've never seen an exam before, you get stuck on an exam, usually your CT lead is there, other techs are there that have more experience than you. So to me, that is a that is a, a, a way from my shoulders, you know, like kind of lifted, you know what I'm saying? Because you're like, you know what? You're not by yourself, man. You have some help. So it's super fun, man. I'm kind of glad and excited that I'm back into CT. Um, the third, this is a big one to me. The third pro, this is the third pro is that you do have less radiation, okay? Less radiation. This is something that you don't think about whenever you're going to school or you, or you think about whenever you're in x-ray. Whenever you're doing CT, you sit in the, you, you sit in the back, door, there, there's lead doors that are closed. There's a little, there's a, for people that, know, that don't do CT and understand what I'm talking about, there's a little speaker there, right? So you don't even have to be in a room when a patient is getting scanned. You can talk to them to the speaker, be like, look, I'm sorry to inject the contrast. You're gonna feel warm. You know, that's all normal. If you feel something abnormal, let me know, I can hear you. We can stop the exam and I'll go out there and see what's going on. That's it. You don't have to be close to them while it's radiating, nothing. You know, when you become an x-ray tech, guys, you have to understand that it's a lot of radiation, man, it is. And, and the bigger hospital you work at, the more radiation you're gonna get. So when I say that, is that OR. OR is radiation. You're basically right there. That's why you have to wear those heavy, you know, shields, the leads, the thyroid shields, the whole bitch, the whole shebang, because you're right there in the middle of radiation. So when you're doing C-arms and say you have a hard case or you have a long case and then the doctor's like, floro, 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 you're, you're just there getting radiated. You know, and some cases are long. You know, yeah, you have shields and you have, you know, things that are protecting you for the most part, but you have a lot of open, you know, arms, legs, everything that doesn't get, you know, protected. And CT, there's none of that. You're always protected, which I am grateful for. I think that's super cool and something that didn't really dawn on me until I started working in CT. Um, when you do x-ray, you have floral exams. So when you do floral, you're doing upper GI, small bowels, um, all, these, all these, you know, exams that you're doing. And you have to literally be right there right there with the doctor, radiologist, moving the patient, he's over there radiating you, she's radiating you, kind of moving the patient, your heads are in the way of radiation. It's a lot of radiation, you know what I'm saying? And that's something that people don't think about, people don't know unless you're from the inside, you know, like, okay, damn, I mean, that makes sense. But when you're outside looking in, you don't understand, you know what I'm saying? So that's the difference, guys. Radiation is a big deal. We gotta stay safe, we gotta stay protected. And when you get into CT, if you decide to get into CT, man, there's that's, one of the blessings, man, less radiation, a lot less, because I don't think you even get any radiation. Now, I'm not saying you're you're a hundred percent per this purge like one or zero point one percent of radiation you could possibly get through through the whatever, but very, 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 very minimal. You know, whenever you're in an X-ray and floral and OR, you get a lot more radiation. And not only that, if you've been in the field of X-ray tech and you know how heavy those 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 um, leads are. Bro, by the time you're done, say you say you're scheduled for OR all day. By the time you're done with OR, bro, your back is killing you. You got a headache because everything's so freaking heavy. Your your thyroid shield and you're pushing that heavy C. Bro, it's a lot. It's a lot, and you don't understand unless you're in it. All right. So this is for the X-ray techs that are already in it or the X-ray students that know what they're good. That what I'm talking about. But um, yeah, man. So anyway, guys, as you can tell, I'm super excited for CT. I'm glad that, I have, that I'm at where I'm at at the moment. Um, like I said, God never fails, man. God's amazing. Um, in Jesus' name, we pray, man, that everything continues to, to fall to fall perfect for all of us, man. You know what I'm saying? I pray for each and every one of you guys out there that watch my channel, that are trying to get into a good career, that are trying to get into um, anything positive to change our life in any way i pray for you guys all right so again man thank you for watching guys thank you for always supporting my channel i love you guys honestly and as always y'all know i'll be back